<laughs> they cut a new version of uh, Soma Kusa. Did you hear it? No. Papa Poo, Papa Poo, Papa Papa Pooey. Wait, it goes in. Papa Booey, so. Papa Poo, Papa Poo, Papa Papa Pooey. Papa Papa Pooey, Papa 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 Pooey. Papa 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 Pooey. Papa 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 Pooey. You finally found a song to cover. Yeah. Papa Pooey, Papa Papa Pooey. Bowie. Bowie. Yeah, you're getting a little echo going Bowie. You can't get enough of it if you want more of that. Yeah. You wanted more, right? <laughs> I can't wait for the video, though. Why don't we cut a version of that? I bet you'd make some money. So I'm looking for it. Just trying to entertain. Yeah, I'm trying to entertain people and also make some money. I think people like, and they do the whole video in a loincloth. Oh, with a bone in your nose. Bone in my nose. <laughs> Toothy. And then we can get some musicians to update the song a little, make it a little more, you know, grunge. Yeah. Put a few guitars. Yeah, a little more now, a little more horns. Musicians horn. in a tree. Yeah. I might, I might go ahead and cut that. Don't let Jackie write the video. All right. Musicians yeah, I've seen, I saw him the last time with the video. Did he write Stuttering John's video? Papa Pui. It was a good choice. Yeah, it was a good video. I liked it, Jackie, for what it's worth. Thanks. I really wasn't in on the creative inception. I was just there to save it. Um, speaking of Tata Tooth, he almost took his head off yesterday. You Why? missed it. What happened? I got really upset with him again. After the show? Yeah. Yeah. In real life. Uh-oh. Yeah, it was pretty pretty ugly. Hmm. You can't tell me what it was about? Yeah, I could. I don't know. I don't know if I want to embarrass him. Oh, that bad. I seriously don't know whether I want to embarrass I think you got the point yesterday why I was mad at you. Yeah, no, I did, but I... I wasn't even mad at you. It's just I couldn't believe you didn't get it. He never gets it. He always argues with me. Huh. No, it wasn't an argument. I just really thought I was—I thought I was doing the right thing, but I guess I can't believe it, especially in light of the whole Jackie incident. All right, let me tell Robin what it was. All right, maybe <laughs> I she'll. Really maybe she'll I mean, you, no. there, was, there was never a chance that you weren't going to do this, right? You know, talk about me. No, no, no. It just—it it popped in my head when I was sitting here looking at you before. I was sure that. I mean, I spent the whole afternoon and night not sleeping. Thinking, oh, really? Oh, sure. Oh. So you might as well do it since he lost. Sleep oh, okay. Over. Well, if he lost sleep over, let's do it. I didn't lose that much sleep, but I, but it did, it did bum me out. I mean, all right. No, let's not. Let's guarantee. Let's let's say ahead of time. I'm not going to raise my voice during this. All right. I'm just going to have a discussion. Well, you've already had. Yeah. Your... I already raised my voice. Yeah. But and I, I did it pretty cool. Me. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, first of all, you shouldn't bring that kind of stuff up to me in front of all those people anyway. Well, I had no idea that it was it was going to be wrong. Oh. You know what I mean? I thought I, I thought I was, you know, doing a good thing. All right. I thought I was going to get a gold star. All right. I'll explain this to you, but we're going to give it a 10-minute time limit so it doesn't turn into a big, ugly thing. All right. All right. Start the clock now. <laughs> all right. Wait a second. I got Are it. you ready? Start the clock now. I got it. All right. <laughs> all right. Turn that off. All right, here's what happened. I go back in the office yesterday, and there's a million things going on, and Baba Bowie says to me, Bolf, you're going to love this. We pulled a great practical joke. Okay. All right, I said, oh, great. 
Great. I remember well, that John said they had a practical joke brewing. Yeah. This well, no, I think no, I think that was something different. That's different. No, this was it. Oh, this was it. Yeah, because because when I got the idea for this, I actually ran it by John, and he thought it was good. And he, oh, you ran it by John. John actually that was a good me, idea. John actually gave me a couple of good jokes for this good. practical joke. Anyway, so what was Baba Booey's big practical joke? Yesterday we had in Mike Judge, of course, from Beavis and Butthead, yes. who was a real good sport, stayed with us for an hour and a half. I thought he was real funny. It was, just, it was a lot of fun having the guy in. And I'd like to have him back on as a guest. Mm -hmm. I thought he was real good. Mm -hmm. Didn't you? Yeah, I thought yeah. it was fun. It was, it was kind of a nice, it was a nice energy to have him in the room. So Baba Boofy, using his quick wit, decided he is going to do a practical joke on Mike Judge. Oh. So when Mike Judge goes back to record, oh, uh, oh, such a piece all right, we promised we wouldn't raise our voices. Oh. So <laughs> I was so tempted. You know what I wanted to do yesterday? As Robin was walking out, I was going to pull Robin into a room and tell her that you I did this. And, oh, oh and tell her you did this. To get her reaction. Oh, I wish you would have asked someone. I would have liked to have gotten her reaction before you Come had on, a chance I mean, to, to, to... All right, wait, so let me finish oh, the story. Oh, he thinks I would react differently. Yeah, so anyway, so I go, yeah. Well, now, there's a possibility that... Because I do lie to you in the hall now, when you do something good for air. <laughs> As Gary is telling me this story, you got to understand, Scott Einziger is in the room, Robin from the E-Network, Jackie, Jackie Marlowe, John, Yeah, because I John. walked in there for a second, and there were a whole table full of people. Yeah, and I couldn't understand why there was a table full of people, because Jackie Marlowe never comes back. Actually, it just I mean, I didn't have them in there. For, I didn't put them in there. Everyone was waiting for you. You had another meeting first, and so all your meetings were backed up. Oh. I wanted to see the beheading. No, oh, was Jack, that what it was? No, it wasn't. Jackie had questions for me. Jackie had questions for you, and the E people were waiting for you. All right, you okay. Know. All right, so evidently there was a lot of people had a lot of different things. Everyone wanted to get out of there, so they were all waiting for me. So it was kind of weird. So Gary couldn't wait to tell me in front of all these people what he had done. So I said, okay, what'd you do? He says, well, I took my judge back into the into the production studio and you know how we have some of the celebrities cut ids and stuff sure, yeah. and mike was good enough after being here an hour and a half mike was good enough to cut a few ids gary goes boss so what we did was i wrote a whole bunch of ridiculous ids and had mike judge standing there for a whole long time cutting all different ids that was stupid even an answering machine message for me it was exactly you could see it's three so, minutes and something seconds so anyway i go gary what are you doing what are you doing? The guy is a friend of the show. He enjoys the show. He loved it, boy. He loves the show. I go, Gary, the guy is smart enough not to, if he's annoyed, not to sit there and let on while you're doing this. He's being a good sport. Instead of just storming out, the guy's trying to be nice to you. Yeah. And he's recording these things. But he, he, it's tell Rob, I, I, I couldn't even understand what the, the joke the, was. The, the joke was, the joke was to have him start cutting some IDs that were silly and just have them get continually silly, sillier. Uh-huh. And see how long you could keep him going or something? Right. Just, that, to, yeah? just to see if he would... I thought at some point he'd turn around and say, I'm not going to cut that because the last one he cut was for your cats. <laughs> I don't know why. No, it's not that it's not funny. It's, it's just like, like it's why would you bring somebody here to goof on them like yeah. that in a back office? Well, I, so Gary goes, this is the kind of thing, this is what he says to me, this is the kind of thing we do all the time. Who would know you wouldn't like it this time? I go, when have we I ever sanctioned that? We each, each other that way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've played There's a big difference on. between goofing on Mike Judge. I said, when do I ever take a guy back there? I said, first of all, if I did the Letterman show, right, mm -hmm. or the Leno show, and they asked me to do some extra stuff for him, I would do it because I'm a fan of the show. And I would, um, you know, I wouldn't want to insult them, so I'm, I'm amenable. But meanwhile, the whole time I'd be sitting there going, I'm never doing this again. Mm -hmm. And I'm not coming back on this show. Yeah, what, is, what kind of uh, is this? What kind of crap what kind is of what? that? What kind of crap is well, that? Well, I was going to say a dirty word, so I had yeah. to bleep uh, myself. What, <laughs> kind of, what kind of crap is <laughs> yeah. this? So, yeah. so Gary, I, I, it wouldn't be so bad if Gary just said to me, wow, I really screwed up. But then he starts defending it. And he'll, hey, this is the kind of thing we always do. I said, I'm sorry. I well, when no. have we ever done this to a guest? Jessica no, but wait a second. But then he says, Jessica and then he... Jessica Hahn. Oh, no, that's me making a phony phone call to Jessica. And you should always clear that kind of stuff with me. Okay, I mean, I mean... I was surprised you went off half cocked like that. It was just, it was, we, I thought of it in a second. I didn't have time to clear it with you because it was right after the show. And yeah, but I don't even mind that. But then he, then he says, well, who knows when you're going to lack something I'm not going to, you know, it's, like, it's like, like I'm a jerk because I'm inconsistent. Right. He always says that about You that. can't predict with Howard. So I said, well, just ask I Howard. I can't read your I, mind. I said, yeah. I can't I read said, your, he gave me one of those I can't no. read your mind speeches. The, the exact thing was I said, I'm sorry. I thought this was the kind of thing that you would like. I apologize. I, and then I, Jackie goes, hey, I think it's funny. Well, actually, no. Actually, Jackie Jack and I had a wait a second. Right. Jackie and I had a big fight yesterday because I thought you were going to love it, and yeah. then you said, 
you know, what the hell did you do that for? You know, that, that was really stupid. And then, and then uh, you go, you know, the guy probably walked out here upset. And then, so you, you don't, you know, you're really bumming out at me. And Jackie goes, oh, yeah, I saw him in the guest lounge. He looked very pissed off. <laughs> said, Jackie, what are you so when, Gary, when Jackie, told, Gary told me about it, and I thought it was kind of funny. I really did, you yeah. know. Well, Jackie was co totally confused by the whole thing because he says, oh, what's the big deal? It's fine to do that. And I go, Jackie. One we day, don't even know this guy. We don't know this guy. One day you'll have a show. You tell me if you're going to sit and jerk around the people that you uh, like. Come on. But what are you talking about? Ah, uh, come we, on. We do know the guy a little bit. You know. No, we, I don't. I, I don't, don't know, know him. And Howard doesn't know him. And you don't even know him. Yeah, well, you went to lunch with him one time, okay, Jackie. Okay. Like, the point is, I didn't think it was as big a deal as I didn't think. Because it was, Jackie's is busy yeah, hounding everyone for autographs and all. He can't get autographs. The right. point was that when, whether I was wrong or right, Gary played it for me, and I did. I think it was kind of funny. Whether Jack, you, right. no, oh, but Jack, finish. you have no ability to read people. I didn't say I did. You really don't. That's uh, one of your, you're, you're, you're a funny you guy and all that, but you can't I read know, people. I know, very stupid people, but yeah. he played it for me. I you thought, are. I thought it was he kind of funny. People, he know he doesn't believe it. People I'm hate sorry. him. I didn't mean Find out why Tom hates you. Everyone hates you. Nobody hates me. Because you don't read people. Not as well as you. And it, No, you don't. That's how I got to where I am. That's the beauty of him, though, because he's so, you know, he's just thick about this. I know. <laughs> he has no idea how the rest of the world perceives him. One day I got to, you know what, I'm going to tape people talking about you behind your back. You have no idea how I have to defend you. And, and people I go, why do you wouldn't. defend Jackie? I you oh, I have to. I have well, to. Yeah, Jackie, we want you here. <laughs> I'm the idiot who likes you. <laughs> Actually, I should say Howard wants you here. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rob, Robin doesn't even oh, want you here. Oh, that laugh goes right through your back. <laughs> but anyway, well, she's honest. Anyway, I'll Not tell like you every something. Human being walking isn't a threat to her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you threatten me a great deal, Jackie. You said it, not me. You do. Anyway. <laughs> no, no, stay with Jackie. Uh, <laughs> so Papa Fui is now going around playing practical jokes. He's supposed to be my oh, guest oh, relations oh. and make sure everybody leaves here happy. Didn't we say this to him last week? So Mike Judge ends up being here cutting IDs. For how long? How long do they keep him? Well, three minutes and 20 seconds. No, no, that's seconds. how long the IDs last. The guy has to sit there and record them on top of the other ones he had to record for us. Uh, he right, did the it real was, one? Yeah, Gary thinks it was three minutes one. and 20 seconds. What am I, a dope? Don't treat me like a moron. Wait, you just said you weren't going to raise Don't words. treat me like a moron, though. No, I said it was 320 extra. I see. And extra. You promised you extra on top of the hour and a half that he had already done didn't here. Did you just promise you weren't going to raise I take it back. <laughs> I can't. There's no way talking to you without, t t without raising my voice. I don't, and we had just gone through a whole thing where we had to chastise Jackie and Gorillo and About Gary. the treatment of well, guests and how they're supposed to be treated. Papa Flunky. Mike Judge, you Mr. better Beck. pray Mike Judge comes back again. He will. All right, we'll see. John had lunch with him yesterday and he said he'd love to come back. Good. Pretty upset at lunch. <laughs> Shut yeah. up. Jackie, you know, was like, hey, it's okay, man. I, I don't know guy. why anyone here ever asked Jackie his opinion about anything. I know. It's just, it's just wrong. That people. So anyway, I sat there and I... I was just shocked that Baba Buhai had done this. Bo boy. So Bo I boy. expressed it. I just said, I don't think what you did was right. I don't. I think it makes me look bad. I think if I went on a show and I did an hour and a half interview... Yeah, doesn't he know that if something happens in here, everyone perceives that you did it anyway? But Baba Buhai's like, it's not like it's a big star. I go, would you do that to Arnold Schwarzenegger? I go, well, it's just Mike Judge. I go, no, no, it's not just to me. Mike Judge is, is just as talented as Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, what does that have to say? It's just No, I didn't Mike say Judge. it's just Mike Judge. Arnold Schwarzenegger is... I'm just... I'm not saying that what I did was right. So before you guys leap down my throat, which you're dying to do, right. let me explain. We're doing it. that already. I know, but <laughs> I'm not saying there. that it's and right. We're not leaping down your but throat. But I'm saying that Arnold Schwarzenegger is different because Arnold Schwarzenegger is not a comedian. Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So would you do that to uh, Bob Eddie Murphy? Am I? You might do that, Teddy Murphy. You would sit there and jerk him around. I wouldn't do it, Teddy Murphy. All right. You wouldn't do it to anyone. Why would you waste someone's time like that? And you know what? I turned to Jackie afterwards. I said, you know what this is about? Gary wanted that Beavis and Butthead ID for his answering That's machine. That's just not true. It's just so true. It's just not then true. Then why was one of the goofs, it had to be an answering because machine message for you? It could, because it was one Why'd of the... Why'd you get it for me? Why'd you get a Howard answering message? It could have just as well been that. Oh, but it was your answering uh, message. You you're, you're very wrong How about much, that. So take it and burn it. I, I don't ever want to hear that on I your machine. And you won't, but Good. I could have... What? I called last night. It was on his machine. He's lying. Is that right? Yeah. Jackie, wow. shut up, you fat bastard. <laughs> the point is, though, Howard, if you had See, that's what he did it, yesterday. Excuse me, that's if you had liked it, it would have been on his machine. And believe me. If it had gone over, it would have been on his machine. <laughs> Admit that. And, and if I wanted Howard... It was all about Howard. getting Mike Judge. You know what it is? Howard. I laid down a rule. Howard. Gary is not allowed... Howard! Gary is not... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Gary is not allowed to ask the right. guests for answering Howard! Them. Would you Bro. let
while talking. Gary was doing that. Yes, and my I did it would once. Once. How many times did I do that? I put a stop to that. How many times did I do it? And. I must tell you that this was a way to get a Beavis and Butthead answering message. Yeah. If I wanted one... I say, one, hey, if Mike Judge is a good pal of yours... Then you do whatever you do want. Do it off the air. Go to a studio... And I could have. ...and have him cut a message. I could have. And, I, Howard, I could do that tomorrow. I could... I could do it tomorrow and you're no longer working no, but I could call. I could have easily said, hey, Mike, do an answering machine message. That's not what it was about. Okay. There's five other jokes in there. So the... Oh. Five other jokes, but one of the jokes is an answering message for you. It could have been right, anything. Let, let me hear what you had Mike Judge cut. It's, Where is it? It's up there. All right. These are them. All right, here it is. This is what Mike Judge... when were you going to spring the joke on Mike? Never. Well, I was hoping he was going to get it. Oh. I knew that Gary must have been feeling some guilt over it because the way he came racing in to tell me about it. But I felt no guilt over it whatsoever. I really thought it was a good idea. So. I have a couple of ones that are, that are, that are not for station. I don't know if it's, if it's a problem. Um, Howard's uh, daughter, Emily, is going to be... Oh. You could just yeah, sure. happy birthday. Her sure. name is Emily. Okay. Oh. Then why are you playing it if it's going to upset you so much? Why are you jerking this guy around? We, we and why are you put my daughter Emily needs a Beavis and Butthead message? We, Howard, we just went through this. I told you I <sighs> agree it's wrong and I apologize. And now you're you do that play to the guy. Guys, here, hour and a half doing the show. Okay. Uh, happy birthday, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, has got <laughs> He already told us that this could see, his voice when he does it. And you could see the guy's already annoyed. He goes, hey, I don't, I don't, he just went happy birthday, Emily. He doesn't want to be doing Beavis and Butthead happy birthday, Emily messages. He's being nice to you because he digs the show. We are, we're agreed on that. I don't know why. So we, why do you torture my guests? But we, I already said it was wrong, and I already said it was sorry. What else would you like me to say, you know Howard? What, what do you want, Gorilla? Do? We know where he's staying. Do you want to speak to him? No, I don't want to speak to him. I'm thoroughly embarrassed. Embarrassed, yeah. Well, you might want to apologize. Maybe you want to have Gary apologize. Why don't you have him sweep the studio? That's a funny joke. Have all my guests come in and sweep the studio, clean up afterwards. They can help Fred clean up the carts. It's becoming a gauntlet for the guests to get out of here yeah. without being sabotaged. Well, they don't have to get past you, Robin. You're gone before they are. Um, okay, um, At least I'm not bothering anybody. Okay. Uh, Howard, don't uh, play anymore because it's, it's... Happy all birthday, upset. Emily. Oh. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Howard needs a birthday message for Emily. Well, you'd have to play the entire thing to get it, but don't. This pains Howard, me. This is painful. Howard, I this already said I'm painful. sorry. What's left to do? What is left for me to do besides the I want to hear it. It's just sit and listen. Do I want to listen to what? your words? You said you, you I want to hear you jerk playful. around Mike Judge. I happen to know for a fact we're already over the 10 minute limit. I want to hear you. Mo I want to hear you jerk off Mike Judge. We're over the 10 minute limit, oh, and you oh, promised. I want to wallow in it. I'm a, I'm suicidal over it. <laughs> this is do your, I have to? Do you need me here for it? Gary's one. Balls. It's hard to get kissed on this thing. Yeah, he's the one who's always telling you that. Yeah. Well, yeah, now I know it's why. Be hard because of them. Yeah, not because of me. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to think of something I could say. Yeah. Um, this is great. He's this is what working here. He's working. He had oh. to come here and work for his stupid joke. Ooh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, somebody called me up last night and said, what is with Robin? Does she have a vendetta against you? Because she, she worries about the show, that? too. was one of your friends? Oh, no, it was one of my enemies that called Robin. You mean she's wrong for being upset about it, too? No, she's not wrong. She should wrong. be like no. Jackie. Hey, he's no, a good guy. She's not wrong Jackie, for you don't see the problem with funny. this? Did you ask me a question? Jackie, you don't see the problem with this? I tried to explain before, but I didn't get it. Oh, you. it's funny. It's funny. It's a real joke. I'm not saying that Robin's not wrong for being upset, but she, you know... Fred, do you see the joke in this? I think I uh, see your point. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't have done it to the guy. No, I wouldn't either. What? I'm not a good judge of that kind of thing either. <laughs> well, yes, you are. Why are you putting yourself down? Are you no, so... I, I just wouldn't so... do it. I'm trying to give Gary an out, but... Get, why does everyone want to give Gary an out? He's got to know what he did bad. wrong. He's childish. Well, see, he doesn't want to get the kind Gar of calls uh, what would you to say? Gary's phone that I get. Gary, oh. Gary knows he did wrong. <laughs> he doesn't want people saying he's got a vendetta against Gary. Yeah. <laughs> um, or my judge. I don't know. What, what else you got? What else? Um, or should I, do, should I say something more? I mean, what should, should... The but, guy's just trying to be accommodating. Yeah, he's being accommodating Howard, and nice, and he wants to please you. Your name is in here. You're, he's talking to your daughter. These are only going to upset if you it's more. Your, if it's too painful for you, you can leave. I want to hear No, them. it's going to be too painful for you. So then what, what, don't worry about me. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. But why would you want to torture yourself? <laughs> That's the way I got it. I want to know what's being done behind my back. I told you. By I, my producer. You know, you, my producer. You are no longer my producer. I am demoting you. You are 
uh, a paid intern. Okay. All right. Don't call yourself producer anymore. When you call up for guests, say, this is the paid intern. Right. I have to go outside and take my business cards and cross Good. out producer. Cross out producer. And write in paid intern and crayon. Fred is now the producer. <laughs> I want to be the producer. <laughs> what is that, Gary Puppet? I want to be the producer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you hear the message at the uh, mic cut for Gary's unborn fetus. Is that right? Unbelievable. <laughs> Funny, though. It's, it's a birth good. announcement. It's pretty good. I, I don't know what to <laughs> Okay. Um, Should I say something about your dad? Your dad's a cool. cool. Your dad's yeah, okay. cool. <sighs> your dad's cool. Poor Mike Judge cutting birthday announcements. At my radio station. It gets a lot worse. Ay. I'm nauseous. I'm so embarrassed. Well, you told him you wanted him to take initiative. <laughs> this is what he decided. I needed to do computer work. I don't need him to take this kind of initiative. Why won't you clear this with me? Just say... Because it was right after the show and we were going right in. I usually... I, I always would. But it was one of those things that was a spur of the moment. It's it the first time you've done something like this. That's right. And it's a disaster. I can see that. What is it, Gary Puppet? Howard, you think Dad's bad? You should have seen what he did with Bruce Willis. I heard him on the phone. He said, hey, Bruce Willis, between takes, could you make a video commercial for my dad's ice cream store? <laughs> Push the rocky road. Uh, happy birthday, Emily. <laughs> Your dad rules. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I rule all right. I, I can't even keep my people under control. What a nice guy this Mike uh, Judge is. Okay. Nice guy. That's great. That's great. Now, another one is um, my my general manager. Mm -hmm. His son Tom is in a band, and oh. he's wondering if I could get you to do, like, an intro for the band. Like, uh, like oh. Now, where would they use this? An intro for the band. They wouldn't use it anywhere. That's if that he was making a joke. I understand. I mean, at least under, at least understand the joke. No, I don't understand go any the joke. I just don't understand why you do it to a guy. Wait, who is just... this guy going to be sitting there saying, "Well, everybody who comes to the Howard Stern show gets jerked around"? Yes. So I'm looking for the the uh, no. What he's going to say is over the door. No, what he's going to say is, "Hey man, I went on the show. I did an hour and a half, man, and then I'm in this studio cutting 27 IDs, and then he finds out. Okay, so now he finds out it was a goof." Hey, man, are they goofing on me? I mean, like, they're wasting well, my time? that's what I'm saying. Nobody expects to come here. It's bad enough sitting in that chair. You need they to don't apologize. They walk out the door I don't have a problem and then doing the goof that. continues. You have to apologize yeah, I don't have a problem doing that. Tell them that you have a really, you have no sense of humor and that you tried to be funny for the first time in your life and it backfired. Right. That's, that's you don't exactly want to do what it happened. on the air? You no, Robin, you don't air. need to do it on the do air. Do it on the air. <laughs> well, do it on the air. So get him on the phone then. Go get him on the phone, girl. You know where he's staying. <clears throat> <clears throat> he expected to publicly humiliate him, so he should publicly apologize. Right. Not a problem. You public bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hiding. <laughs> I mean, I know after you do an hour and a half on this radio show, it's, it's you've, you've done your duty. This is confrontational. This is hmm. a very big deal to come in here and sit and perform with yeah. us. He was uptight. And, and that was his first appearance on the show. It's not like he's been here a hundred times. Yes, Gary Puppet? Maybe Gary should pay him for his time, whatever that may cost. Hmm. Hmm, there's an idea. <laughs> well, according to what MTV pays him, it's not a whole lot of money. Okay, so you're out $5. Under the new contract. <laughs> right. Here's Burning Bush. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's cutting IDs. I just, you know what? Can I just say something, Howard? Yikes! Again, not, Yikes. not defending myself at all. Right. You, I got the impression as he was doing this that he gets asked to do this sort of stuff a lot. I'm not saying that that's right or anything. No, it's not right. It's not right. And there's a certain we're trying to create a perception of this show as a major player in the realm of. Gary, you gotta you gotta protect me against stuff like this. Howard, how, I mean, how many times can you go over you the think same ground? Because, because we went over this a week show? ago. I, but you say, how can we go over this the same ground? I, we went over it a week ago. The difference this is, is this, there's no difference between Jackie hounding the guests in the hall for autographs and you hounding them for ideas, even though you, it's a joke. Can I tell you what I thought the difference was? Is there was? a difference between that, Jackie? Howard, can I tell you what I thought the what? difference was? No. There isn't, right? No. Can I tell you what I thought the Jackie, difference was? Jackie, is there a difference between you asking someone for an autograph in the hall and asking... Do you need no. anybody here? Exactly. Actually, no, I want to I hear it's it. It's much easier to give an autograph than to do this. Yeah, I'd rather Jackie ask for autographs. But can I tell you what I thought the oh, difference good. was? What? Do you want to know? Yes. I thought that the difference was that this was at least for the air and that Jackie's wasn't good for anything except for Jackie's notebook. Oh. 
I mean, that's really how I saw the difference. Okay. I didn't see, you know, I wasn't out to pester the guest. I thought right. that you, were trying, least, you had well, your heart was in the right at place. At least it was for the air. I wasn't right, but doing don't a... pester the guest. Here's the here, all right. Let's, now, let's end let's, this. Wait a minute. Let's take, go to end with another theory that he realized what Baba Booey was doing. Yeah. And then got pissed. Yeah. Is that what he wanted? Yeah. In other words, let's say he the result of the reaction? joke was Mike getting pissed, and then you go, "Hey, Mike, I'm doing a practical joke." I didn't think Mike would get pissed. I thought he would just say, "I'm, I'm you know, I'm not going to do that." But thanks. Yeah. Anyway. So he would have been angry. Yeah, no, of I course didn't. he would have been. So Why would he thought... say no, Gary, unless he was pissed off and didn't want to do it? So the goal was to piss him off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand that. I understand that if the guy wouldn't do the show, but mm -hmm. the guy's into doing our show, and he likes me, and he likes the show. Hmm. So, any way you'd look at it, he was going to get pissed. What? Yeah. He, 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 if pissed? the joke was successful, he'd be pissed, and if the joke is unsuccessful, he'd he's be pissed, pissed. But yeah. <laughs> so the ultimate goal was to piss him off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked, Gary. You're a real good. You pissed me off. I'll tell you that. All right. Listen, I gotta, I gotta say it again, and I don't care what anyone says. If you think I'm repetitive, then that's fine. Because Gary yells at me that I treat him like a moron. No, no, no. And you, you repeat, things, I'm repeat things too many, things too many, many times. May I? May but I? Here is the rule. I'm gonna make it a simple rule. Can I just say something? No, there's nothing to no, say. There is one thing to say. There's one it's thing really not possible that there's there, one there thing is to say. Right, let, what is the one thing to say? The one thing to say is yeah. that you and I had this conversation yesterday off the air. Yes. Everything was understood. Why do you feel it's necessary to berate me on the air for now 20 minutes? Because now I'm closer to 10 o'clock and I'll be done soon. <laughs> well, that, see, that makes sense. All right, fine. That makes Everything sense. I do makes sense. That's what I need you to do. But you understand how... Wake I up. <laughs> Why? He doesn't get anything on this show. Yelling at you off the air doesn't do me any good. Well, that makes you feel a little better. Good. Here's the new rule. It's not actually a new rule. It's an old rule the old that rule. I always assume was there. Said one more time. The guests are sacred. They are our friends. They are friends of the show. Mm -hmm. Friends of the show should not be jerked around after they've done the show. Why would we jerk them around? They've just done the show. And they're walking away happy. We, our goal is not to make them unhappy. The only person to jerk the guests is Howard. How right. about that? Okay. All right. And if you want to jerk a guest, come to me about it. I will. And then I will take you and throw you out a window. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. In fact, I'll have Fred throw you out the window. Oh. I can't dirty my hands. <laughs> Fred's twice the man I am anyway. <laughs> Gary Poppet, do you understand? Paul? I thought I was taking the bull by the teeth, and I have considerable sized teeth. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I love the way that puppet turns his head after everything he says. <laughs> He's not looking at me. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just sick of being on the E show now. <laughs> it's like every day that one of these things goes down, you go back there with the E people, and I go, my stuff wasn't funny. And they go, oh, yes, it was. <laughs> You're on. You're on. <laughs> You're just a very funny guy. <laughs> You're the funniest guy on the E show. I like when the puppet stares at Gary and Gary won't look at the puppet. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. I think I, think I intimidate him. <laughs> you refuse to look at that puppet. Look into my eyes. You are getting sleepy. You are getting sleepy. Oh, I don't have to try that hard. You are asleep. So Gorilla got Mike Judge on the phone? He I probably didn't even hear you. No. It's another worthless one. Well, anyway, I, I do feel bad for Mike Judge. What is it? Go away. Yeah, what is it, John? Uh, Mike's got a block on the phone this morning. Oh, yeah, he's, 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 got he's probably so upset that he's, he couldn't sleep. What is he doing, Letterman tonight? Yeah. Or he did it last night? No, he's doing it tonight. Oh, so he wants to get some sleep. Probably. No. If, if, if you want, I can I wonder if he'll jerk him when he gets out no. of there and make no, we him do call a bunch him, of IDs. Maybe we can call him at like 9 o'clock. Nah, and... don't. Th this That's is done I, with. I, Once I, we're done with it, we're done with it. You know what, though? What you should do is make Gary... Apologize. We'll record it and send it to Mike. No, no, I'll a call. A written apology as well. I can call yeah. him when... since he had him cutting ID. I can like call him at a better hour. All right, you an know what? Apology. Cut an apology right now. <clears throat> Go ahead. Hey, and and stuttering John, come in here too. Uh, he's another jerk. I had to throw stuttering John out of here. I got Vic. He was funny. Yeah. Well, we got a problem with Vic. Uh oh. He only shows up when he thinks he's going to be on the air. Uh, how is my fault? I don't know. Did you have Mike Judge sign things yesterday at my radio station? No. What happened was a couple people from the station. Came to what, me. what? 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 Let me take this real slow. Okay. Couple, I want to understand this. A couple this. people from the station who work here. Go ahead. Came up to me and said, "Yes. Uh, you know, Gary's on the air. So can you see if Mike will sign this?" 
Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I went, and what is the rule I, on the show? Wait, I, I, Gary, did I? Oh, uh, no. I went to Gary and said, Gary. You said, Howard, remember I had this conversation with you. If the guest is okay with it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem. Yeah. And it's for somebody at the station. It's not a lot. You said it was okay. And if it's not every time. All right, I'm making a new rule. But No, but I did exactly what I said. I'm making I a new Gary, rule. All right, you handled it properly, Thank Gary. You. Handled it properly from now on. No signatures on anything. Okay. Without me being asked. And no jerking the guests around, period. The guests are my guests. They are not. Just because you went to lunch with the guy, when he's on my show, he's my guest. When you go to lunch with him, you can sign all the things you want. You sit there. If he wants to go to lunch with you and sign things, fine. But he's my guest. He's not your guest. He wants. To, he don't want to know you. Yeah, I know. Why you're I, nothing. Why am I involved? I mean, you're involved because I don't. I don't like what you're up to. What, what am I up to? Are you to? sneaky? Do what Gary does. Sign the autographs yourself. Ah. <laughs> like he did with James Taylor. <laughs> to Gary. To Gary, James Taylor. <laughs> yeah. I just I asked Gary, but I said, you know, I I was asked to produce the man. Now here's the rule: no autograph signing. I don't care. If t Tom is the biggest you know jackass on the planet. You, you, I, I'm a little upset because you keep putting responsibility back into your own lap. I can't which help it. Which means that in the middle of this show, you're going to have people running in saying, "Bull, should you get this sign?" I don't care. I, I better that no way. No autograph. Period. Period. Good. Including Tom. Is Including Tom Chiasano. Right. Guests aren't here to see Tom. Tom doesn't do anything for me. He's a nitwit who stands there and takes orders like Eichmann. You just do me what a favor. What is the rule on the Letterman show? The guests do not get bothered. Right. Well, that's they don't not have true. CBS people coming down asking for autographs. That's just not true because whenever Howard goes there, he's bombarded with books. Well, that's but, wrong. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> Somebody should be yelling at them. Right. Ow. Do you? Do, when, seriously. Go ahead. Serious question. When you when you go to Letterman, you know how people you know hit you with books as you walk away. Right. Do you, do they you, shouldn't. But does that really upset you, or is it just one of the things that you that you feel is something to live with? No, it's not that it upsets me. Let me just tell you. Something. I don't mind signing a book for somebody. I sign books for people all day and night. Problem is that when you're going to a Letterman show, while the rest of the people think it's just fun and frivolous, mm -hmm. there's tremendous preparation and tremendous pressure to go out and be funny within 10 minutes. It's like being shot out of a rocket. And you focus in on what you have to do. The less distractions you have, the better it is for you. I'm talking about, like, usually they get you on the way out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And when you leave, it's 5.30. It starts taping at 5.30. Sometimes I get out of there at 6.30. That means I'm going to be on the Long Island Expressway for two hours. The sooner I can get out the door, the happier I'd be. I'm not, it doesn't make me unhappy to sign the things. I'm happy people like the book. But at the same point, if I could just get out the door, I'd be happy doing it. I've signed enough books to gratify my own ego. I don't need it everywhere I go. <coughs> go away. Why don't you go puke on somebody? <laughs> oh, my God. God, is he disgusting. TV. It's not that it bothers you. I mean, I'm happy people enjoy the book. Don't get me wrong. It's just that if you, if you could avoid it, you'd want to. By the same token, I think those are rather ancillary. But you don't have somebody in a blue jacket at one of the pages at NBC at the Le uh, right. when you do the Leno show coming up with a bunch of books for you to sign. Actually, that's right. exactly what happens. That's not what happens. It is. It happens. No, it I've, I've seen it happen. Well, I haven't, and I've been there more than you. And quite frankly, I don't care what goes on at the Letterman show. No, it was just a question. That's all it was. I don't. What is it, Gorilla? I, I really hate to do this, but everybody's calling on the phone saying on the E show. When Tim Allen was here, yeah, that that guy was getting an autograph, yeah, for his I'm sure, wife, for your wife. No, I got it for a friend. He had pictures, and they said, "Does anybody want an autograph?" So he had he had, oh. he had eight he by ten with him. Oh, he asked. Yeah, so that's, that's fine. That's fine. If he wants no, to so sit so there and sign autographs, autographs, that's fine. Autographs, that's his business. That's okay. Sometimes they bring eight by tens, and like Pamela Anderson brought posters. If she has nothing better to do than to sit there and sign and her own picture, then said, fine. Let her do you know, it. Who needs order? Would you like? They said, "Would you like some autograph Playboys?" I didn't get one. I got one for Ralph and for Tom. That's fine. But if Tom comes up to you, our general manager, our esteemed general manager, who has nothing to do all day, and he sits there and he goes, My son really likes Baywatch. Can you get me a signed autograph? <laughs> like a mental patient? Just say no. When, 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 the, when Pamela Anderson hangs out with you, Tom, and she'll sign autographs for you. She's a guest on my show. That's all. Simple. Now there's no. Now, now no, I no got no confusion. problem. Everyone See, can walk there is in. No confusion. Any person who comes on this show now knows they can walk in and out of the building unencumbered by practical jokes, and and autograph uh, seekers. Hey guests, it's safe to come back on the Stern show. I've cleaned Gary's everything under up. Gary's under control. Gary's <laughs> under control. My producer is now relaxing. We're up to 33 minutes. That's right. Uh, I just wanted to let you know. No, that's 23. Subtract the 10.
Those ten don't count. <laughs> Is that like going three and a half? That's right. You're twenty three over. There? I, uh, I'll tell you something. Um, I've got problems on this show. There's no question about it. I've been very busy and I haven't had time to sit You and are no longer able to keep track of everything that's I'm going not. on here I am because not. you've gotten too busy. That's right. Usually I used to be here till 2, 3 o'clock, but mm -hmm. I can't. You so can watch them. It's a big party here after I leave. <laughs> no one here on this show has worked any place else. They don't know what it is to really work. That's why I never lose anybody. Who would work anywhere else? There's no work going on here. Howard, being here till 3 o'clock yesterday... I need someone to produce my difference. producer. Being here till 3 o'clock yesterday wouldn't have changed anything. I still wouldn't have made the same stupid mistake. All right. Well, listen. <laughs> he now doesn't we... need a full day to All make right. that many mistakes. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I need a full day for something else. <laughs> All right, Fafa Fui, you <laughs> are not going to... Hey, can I unveil the Robin puppet? Yeah, go ahead. Where can is I? it? Yeah. Hold on Where a second. Let me see. I didn't know there was one. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> He's got a Robin pie. How he has the energy to make jokes now after his first joke bombed. Uh, he's on a roll. He's on a roll, all right, Gary Puffett. Hope this works. This is why I don't think any of your lectures make any difference. He's never cowed. What's he going to do? He ne You know, you just can't break him. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to fire him? <laughs> no, I don't all want right. you to so fire him. Forget I just, it. He's past that point. <laughs> Uh, here is the, the debut of the Robin Puppet. Ja uh, Gary has evidently put something together. No, no, no. Let me preface this by saying that somebody gave this to Jackie at an appearance. All right. And Jackie gave it to me saying that, you know, when Robin gets on you, it might be a good time. All right. Let me see. <laughs> Unveil it. Oh, Jackie's helping you with me. Of course. He's not helping. I just kind of passed the buck. Right, right, right. He's the producer. Let me see. This is a Robin Puppet. <laughs> That's the most flattering thing. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> Very cute. Oh, my. <laughs> you know what Jackie told me? The guy told him, see the teeth? Yeah. It's his grandmother's real teeth. It's his grandmother's real teeth. Oh, my. God. Well, it's oh, got a lovely Lutus. chest. Show me the Oh, yeah, you're going to see this. <laughs> well, work it. Does, this, does it actually move, Jackie? Yeah, it's pretty tough. you got to... <laughs> you can't even get your head up there. Yeah, That's the can. Robin Puppet? Uh, I'm busy. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Give it a Fred. He can work it. <laughs> Fred is a pro pro professional puppeteer. you got to try and jam your hand all the way up that cardboard. <laughs> the Robin Puppet now. The whole show. Well, that'll certainly make me nicer <laughs> to you, Gary. <laughs> jam your whole hand up Can't there. make it any worse, Quivers. <laughs> oh, ahead. you don't know me. <laughs> I've been going easy. Tight in here. What is that, uh, Fred? I mean, it's Robin. Robin. <laughs> yes. Check them out. Where are they? <laughs> I'm busy. Gary, you are an idiot. What is the matter with you? Howard, you must get on your people. They are out of control. Jackie, shut up. Wow, nice job. What I can't move the teeth, though. <laughs> yeah, well, let's do these grandmother's teeth. Grandmother's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> work in the mouth. All right, very good. All right, Gary, repeat after me. I, I will, not will not pick my nose, pick my nose without making sure. Without making sure. Vorfa wants me to. Vorfa wants me to. I will. I will. Put guests. Put guests. On a pedestal. On a pedestal. I will look up pedestal to see what it is in the dictionary. I will look up pedestal to see what it is in the dictionary. I will figure out why you yell at me on the air. I will figure out why you yell at me on the air. I will pout and be moody. I will pout and be moody. To show my interns. To show my interns. That I am the world's worst example. That I am the world's worst example. <laughs> All right, thank you. And you guys said I would never repeat again. I repeat like... There you go. Often. All right, Gary, you can leave now. I'm done with you. Leave. Are you ready to go to the next piece of business after these commercials? Uh, here's burning bush. <laughs> bush. <laughs> Poor guy. Just a couple more. Um, <laughs> if it wouldn't be out of line, uh, my name is Gary. My wife's name is Mary. Would you do a uh, answer machine? Okay. Okay. Gary and Mary? Gary and Mary. <laughs> well, you at least let it go to the... If you're going to play the whole thing, let it go to the funny one. I, I can't even play it. I'm so embarrassed. There's one, there's one that's pretty funny. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Gary and Mary are like, uh, not here or something. <laughs> and there's something I can help you with. <laughs> this guy's working. This guy's working. <laughs> Okay, and only two more. Um, this is from Jackie. I got like a whole bunch of requests. Okay. Jackie's brother. Um, Jackie's brother works at a supermarket. Was that him going? Oh God. Uh, yeah. Of course, that's him going. Oh God. You don't think this guy was annoyed? No. Okay. 
but I was wrong, but I don't think he was annoyed. All right. The last two words, Jack. The guy's in here the whole time telling us how it hurts his voice to do yeah. this stuff. The last two were Jackie's brother works in the supermarket. Could you do an announcement that they could run over the the speaker so when he did, when there's a spill? And the last one was that Robin's cats. You know, Robin doesn't really have any kids, so cats are like her kids. And uh, and they, whenever they see Beavis and Butthead on, they um they just stop and stare at the TV. So could you do a message for one of Robin's cats? And oh he did a boy. message for Tut. Oh, yeah. I think they wanted to run like uh, um, his name's uh, his name's Billy. <laughs> hey Billy, there's a, a spill in aisle five. Okay, it's oh. <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, hey Billy, there's a spill in aisle five. <laughs> He'll be back. All right. Uh, anyway, there it is. Beavis and Butthead. Fa fa fooey. Beavis and Bucktooth. Yeah, Beavis and Bucktooth. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break, and then when we come back, Robin, I'll get on with the show. I'm sorry I had to discipline my staff again and waste the first hour of the program. Precious radio time. Didn't appear to be a waste at all. All right.